This video is provided for informational purposes only. It should not be solely relied upon when installing your Marley NC cooling tower. Always consult with qualified cooling tower installation and safety experts. Follow these steps to make your Marley NC cooling tower's arrival and unloading smooth and efficient. Advanced staging your cooling tower installation will help minimize complications. Allow space around the tower for maintenance access and for free airflow into and through the tower. Contact your Marley sales representative if you have questions about cooling tower configuration and space requirements. Prepare a stable, level support foundation for the cooling tower, utilizing weight, wind load, and dimensional information from Marley's submittal drawings. Operation of the tower requires level supports, so this is very important. Most Marley NC cooling towers arrive on flatbed truck trailers, which allows the contractor to receive, hoist, and install the tower cells in one continuous operation. Single cell towers ship on one truck. Multi-cell towers, depending on their size, may require more than one truck. Tower condition upon arrival is the responsibility of the freight carrier, including coordination of multiple shipments as required. Prior to unloading the tower and components, inspect them for evidence of damage. Note damage on the freight bill and take photos if possible to support your freight claim. Most Marley NC cooling tower shipments include the following items. Tower modules, ladders, fans, and other optional components. This equipment varies from order to order. Locate the list of ordered equipment in the initial pages of your installation literature package. Wood crates. Transport these crates to the job site with a forklift. Crates include any necessary large hardware, plus plastic totes that contain small hardware and fastener kits. Installation literature package, including instructional drawings and bill of materials. This package is located in a blue plastic tote in the cold water basin. This information, which includes maintenance guidance, should be retained by the customer. Before you begin installation, take a moment to match the serial number and full product description on your bill of materials with the serial number stamped on the cooling tower's nameplate. The master bill of materials is designated as page one in your literature pack, found in the blue totes and emailed to you prior to shipment. Once you've established that the shipment is correct and all necessary components are included, you're ready to begin the installation. For more help organizing the installation materials, watch the next video in this series, Installation Instructions and Drawings. We'll discuss how to locate and match up the individual cooling tower components with their individual bills of materials and locate each individual installation drawing for those components. Thanks for watching.